Obasanjo blasts Nigeria's leadership, condemns siege against Saraki, others a former president, Alusagun Obasanjo has again attributed Nigeria's underperformance to the problem of leadership. Speaking when he granted audience to a PDP presidential aspirant, Kabiru Tanimu Toraki, San, at his residence in Abeokuta, Ogun State on Thursday, the ex-president, however, said that he had not lost hope because God had blessed Nigeria with men and women of caliber who can stand their own in the world. Chief Obasanjo, after listening to the speeches of Toraki and Boni Haruna, DG Kabiru Tanimu Toraki campaign organization, said, We are not short of leadership that can perform. The former president, who recalled that he consulted widely in 1998-1999 just as Toraki is doing now, revealed that he accepted to be drafted into the presidential campaign because of the need to unite the country. Listening to you, I believe you have got the concerns of Nigerians today in the area of security, economy and cohesion. Anybody who will lead Nigeria to the promised land will have my support, Obasanjo said. He condemned the siege laid to the residences of the Senate President, Bukola Syraki and his deputy, Akekwa Ramadu, saying that was embarrassed by a number of things happening in the country. We are in a position to do better than what we are doing today, he said. Obasanjo further noted that what Toraki had been doing is to firm up and stabilize Nigeria's democracy which, he believed is making some progress. He explained that the statement he issued in January was not done frivolously, noting that a nation can be destroyed not necessarily when people are doing bad things but when people keep quiet when danger looms. In his remark, Toraki, who described Obasanjo as the father of modern Nigeria, said that it is people like him who speak truth to power that are working assiduously for a united country. The aspirants stressed that there is need to take up the challenge of rescuing Nigerians from the plethora of problems such as insecurity, poverty, divisiveness and hopelessness confronting them today. He said that with the support of respected leaders like Obasanjo, we know that we would be able to rescue our country as we have no other place to go.